big Ontario walleye to start us out here at Rusty Myers Fly-Ins. Legendary operation, over 75 years in business, family owned. And this is gonna be a fun trip, folks. Oh man, chunky. Look at that. Ate that white jig. And I'm joined on this trip by my producer, Josh Burlett. And in the background there, we got a couple of longtime Rusty Myers guests who joined us at one of the outposts up here. Let this walleye go here. I mean, that's about a 23-incher to start us out. Beautiful fish. Gary Roggenrude, this is his 82nd trip to Rusty Myers. And we've also got along with us Rob Gray, who's taken many trips up here to Rusty Myers as well. Longtime guests that can speak to the quality of the operation that Rusty Myers offers and also talk about the quality fishing up here for walleyes and northern pike. That's what we're talking about in today's segment. Great fishing in northwestern Ontario with Rusty Myers fly -ins. This is going to be a fun show, folks. We're at a net some of these. Look at that chunk. Beauty, huh? This is what coming up to Ontario is all about right here, catching them two at a time as the evening sun dips. We're having so much fun catching them. We're delaying getting our dinner going back at the cabin, catching some nice walleyes this evening. Well, this is our first full morning here at Rusty Myers. We had an awesome afternoon and evening yesterday pounding on them. And Unbelievable sunrise this morning. Looks like a spectacular day to go fishing. A little thicker one here. You can always tell when you set the hook on those. Oh, this is a nicer one here. Beautiful wally. And look, a lot of these fish up here have this kind of this blue color to their fin. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but especially their caudal fin on the top here in the back and their tail. Nice fish. Black. Let's see how black it is. Back in the lake. Let's see what we got here. Got some cloud cover coming in. Who knows? We might even get a little spritz of rain here, but a little walleye chop and cloudy conditions. Nice walleye. Nice fish. Whoa. Another one on the jig. Look at that chunk. Huh? And man, he ate it good too. This is another one of those average size ones. That I got braid on this rod so I can swing him in, but it's one of those fish that's right on the border of what you want to net when they're 17, 18 inches like that. Another beautiful walleye from Rusty Myers. You know, talk about the boats that we're fishing out of. All 10 outposts have these uh, 14 foot boats with 9.9 .9 horse outboards on them. So most of these lakes are smaller. They're anywhere from about 1,500 up to 7,000 acres. So if you like, um, more intimate settings, smaller lakes where you can tuck out of the wind, easy to fish, easy to learn during your, your outpost trip. Uh, there's a lot of options like that. They also have a couple of bigger lakes. We're on Wabakimi, which is about a 32 mile long lake, 16,000 acres. Really for any type of experience for fishing walleyes and northerns, and a couple of these lakes even have lake trout in them, Rusty Myers has an option for you. Ooh, another, another tugger. Oh yeah, this is a good one here. Oh, chunky man. Really, you net those bigger ones like that. That's one you don't want to swing in for sure. You can see I got him on that white jig. It's been one of my go-tos here this week, and that's what's left of a live minnow. We actually brought um, live minnows up. We, we, we ordered some extra ones from Rusty Myers for that. Brought up a whole bunch of frozen shiners. Brought up six dozen of them. We brought those across the border. There's no problem with that. And then also um, a flat of night crawlers. But we've also brought along uh, a number of artificials. Lures like jig and wraps work really well. It's a nice fishing lure, but if you vertically fish those in the summertime over schools of walleyes, you'll end up catching a lot of fish. Uh, another a good example of a lure like that that will replace um, using your bait and preserve your bait for longer uh, is a lure like a rip and wrap. Again, you can fish that vertically, rip it vertically in the water column. It's got a, a rattle in it and that'll trigger some of these fish to bite as well. So good way to conserve your bait 
during your trip to a fly-in is to bring some artificials like that. Just another nice Rusty Myers walleye tugging on the hook. You know, we didn't get any big northerns on this trip, but the walleye fishing has been just world class. Lots of numbers, lots of quality fish. This is another dandy. Popping the jig. Easy fishing, fun fishing, and unbelievable accommodations up here at Rusty Myers. If you love walleye fishing and you like fishing in Ontario and you want to go on a flying adventure, Owe it to yourself to check out RustyMyers.com. The website's got a full lineup of information about all the lakes up here, help you plan your trip, a what to bring list, the whole deal. I would like to thank Gary Rod Rude, Rob Gray, producer Josh Burlett, and of course, Angie Korzynski and the staff at Rusty Myers, including our pilot, Mike, for taking care of us this week. RustyMyers.com is the place to go to plan your next Canadian flying adventure. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.